Hi, uh, Dr. Nicole Vane from Moonlight Beach Dental. And I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the things a lot of my holistic and more naturally oriented patients are really concerned about, which is hidden infections in your mouth. Um, even if you're not holistic minded, um, a lot of people don't really appreciate how much one tooth can affect your overall health. Here at Moonlight Beach Dental, we have a complete health model. So essentially, I want you to know how an infected tooth can affect your whole system, which a lot of medical doctors realize. For instance, if you went in for heart surgery or if you were gonna have a knee or hip replaced, they would really wanna know if you have any infected teeth in your mouth and they would want them removed before you have surgery because the infection and bacteria in your mouth can affect things like artificial valves, pacemakers, hips, knee. And some people who are pre-medicated for dental treatment, which means they're given antibiotics prior to having their teeth cleaned, really start to understand this relationship a lot more about how much the bacteria in our mouths can circulate through our body. So the holistic-minded patients, holistic essentially just means whole body, and it's people who want to know more about how one tooth infection can affect certain organs in their body or affect their overall health or affect their autoimmune disease. So that's one thing that I specialize in. I think it's so unknown to so many people because the biggest issue is that, or at least what I hear from my patients, yeah, but that doesn't really hurt me. So they essentially don't understand how the tooth is actually hurting them. And I really like the analogy that it's no different of someone who drops dead and then they say, oh my God, that person was totally healthy. I can't believe he dropped dead. And then it turns out they had four coronary blockages. So again, that's something that doesn't cause immediate pain. It's something they can't see. And it's something they're not even aware of that can be silently killing them or causing these huge catastrophic issues. And it's only when it comes to a head that people really start to say, wow, I had no idea that this could happen. So the reason we take the dental x-rays that we do is so that we can inspect the health of the bone and the teeth and the tissues that we can't see visually with just our eyes. So the two things I really wanted to talk just a little bit about are wisdom teeth, uh, root canals is a very hot topic, and again, some of the decay. I've chosen two models that I think really illustrate how an infection can start and trickle down. One of which is how an infection from a cavity can trickle into the root system of the tooth. And essentially, all teeth are fed by a blood supply that comes from some main nerve and blood vessels that go through our face, the maxillary nerve and the mandibular nerve. So if you have a tooth that's abscessed and slowly, essentially like festering with bacteria, it'll trickle down through these root systems and it can go into more of the main nerve trunk or on the upper arch, it can go into some of the sinuses and it can cause some latent health issues. So two things that people really ask me about are do I really need my impacted wisdom teeth out? And the answer is not always, but in some cases when they come in sideways and they can create a communication between the tissue and the top of the mouth and the bottom that you can't keep clean, you can actually get pus that trickles in and around the wisdom tooth and until it causes pain, most people don't even realize it's there, but it can do damage to the second molar in front of it, or it can actually cause an emergent situation where you need to have your tooth removed as an emergency. I actually had something like that occur last week where a patient we had told for several years would need to eventually get them out, ended up in the ER having a lot of facial swelling when one of the wisdom teeth finally became infected. So that is something we wanna help you avoid. The other thing that we can see on some of the x-rays is if infection develops around a root canal tooth. Now once a tooth is dead, they remove the nerve and the blood vessels from the tooth. So the tooth has no blood supply anymore, which is why it's essentially dead. Uh, it won't cause any pain to you a lot of times because there's no nerve in it anymore, but on some of the x-rays we'll see failing root canals or fractured teeth that have large abscesses around them. And the way we can see that is that the infection actually destroys the bone around the root. We'll see a large shadow there. And what that looks like, or what I like that this model illustrates with these two little red dots, is that the infection sits there. And again, because you're not really feeling anything, um, 
you don't realize that that pus can sometimes be weeping into your mouth. Uh, a lot of patients will say, yeah, I do get a bad taste every now and again, or an odd taste, or I'll have a pimple on my gum that swells, but it's okay, it pops and goes down. But really, we don't want you swallowing all that bacteria that can circulate throughout your mouth. So these are the things we look for when you have a dental exam. I hope that this simple explanation has helped you understand a very complex issue about how your teeth can affect your overall health. It's something I'm really passionate here about and our whole team is passionate about, which is the complete dental health model. And we look really thoroughly at all of your gum and teeth and bone levels. We're going to tell you about our findings when you're here. And I encourage you to use the time during your exam to ask any questions you may have about how some of these teeth can be harmful to your overall health.